hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use progress bar control in our qt QML application and how to use its uh, property and how to use its events so let's start so first of all sub simply import the qt cube control okay now let's create the uh, progress bar so first of all this create the define the id in qt widget application we use object name property here we use id property okay let's set the width property here so let's set the width 300 and default value is uh, let's set the uh, 75 and set the uh, minimum value is 0 and maximum value is oh, let's set the 715 okay so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value okay in qt widget application we use directly a minimum and maximum value property now let's create the one column okay and add this progress bar control in our column okay now let's uh, add the one text control to display the uh, progress bar value and how many percentage are progress done so set the text here first and now set the value here so let's uh, form the basic calculation to get the percentage so here get the progress bar value into 100 divided by the maximum value okay also set the font property set the uh, 15 okay now let's one create the one row to add one two buttons so add the uh, one button control So here also set the id my button increase okay and create the one another button to decrease uh, to reduce the value okay or well, let's set the uh, spacing so here 20 also set the uh, spacing in row so also set the one anchor to display the your uh, Control in center of our application okay now let's uh, write the functionality in button control so first of all to define the text so this button is used for increase the value and this button is decrease the value okay and let's create the uh, on click event if you want to know the button click event and button control i already have made a video about a button control in a, for a qt QML application so you can watch the video so let's write the one simple condition my progress bar dot value is less than of the two value of progress bar okay so we increase the progress bar value here so let's value increase the value by 15 and also here we create the uh, on click event and just change the condition less than to minimum and less than to greater than and change the here the value to to from and just decrease the same way amount of value here okay now let's run the application and check it you can see the current value is uh, 75 and total value is uh, maximum value is 715 so total progress is 10 and increase the less value so you can see the progress bar increased and when i decrease the button so uh, when then value is also minus so now let's create the one event when value change event called 
so now let's see your print the value okay now let's run the application so you can see the, when I decrease the value you can see and when I increase the value so you can see the current value of progress bar so by this way you can easily create the progress bar control in our QTQML application and how to and by this way you can easily uh, create a uh, value change event and also manage the value like this and find the percentage of the current uh, progress bar so please drop your comment if you have any questions about progress bar control in QTQML application and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel to get and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you